So here's our app, here's our device. I've already set up a profile on the app, so now I'm just gonna link the device to my profile. Here it is, and I'm gonna start doing some work now. So I'm gonna lift this box. I'm gonna use a poor technique, so I'm gonna bend my back. And you can hear that the device gives me an immediate notification that I made a high risk movement. But if I now use a good technique, keeping my back straight, I won't get any notification. Hi, my name is Alexey Pavlenko. I'm co-founder and CTO at Southern Analytics. I've graduated the St. Petersburg State University of Optics. Then I went work to the IT company and also tried to found by myself a startup, which now has a 200,000 EU active users. We started the company with Matthew Hart. We met at startup event in St. Petersburg and when he talked about the idea of stopping injury by just using a device, we became very passionate about this idea and decided to build our own company. At Center Analytics, we always were trying to try the new stuff, and then we found this Sheldex project at Unearthed. When we started, we just built a prototype of how the uh, safety device should look like and uh, we made up a device which is easy to use, have a very long battery life and uh, rush it to fit the such work conditions. And we were very excited to have a second place there. At Cedar Analytics we are solving musculoskeletal injury problem. These injuries have happened pretty often in such conditions and the market is huge, $140 billion. Soda Spine is our solution. This is a simple device that clips onto your body and tracks your upper body movement. As soon as it detects high risk movement, it notifies the worker that he needs to think about what he is doing. Then he can synchronize his data to the app, which will show him detailed explanation of what he did wrong. Until the last year, we were trying to avoid to be a hardware startup, because when you're a hardware startup, you're facing a lot of challenges with supply chain, find a right manufacturer for your product, and it happens every time. Why we were need to become a hardware startup is just because we need to provide the right solution for the right environment. And we were looking for the whole market to find a solution that fits our needs, but it wasn't there. One of the problems we had is we built a prototype, we built 50 of them, and then we figured it out that the problem in initial design made us not available of using the Bluetooth on this device. That's why we brought a hardware designer and team to be able to be flexible, build prototypes immediately when we need them, and solve the problems much faster. At Solar Analytics, we decided to start a crowdfunding campaign which will help us to continue our runaway till the start of the next year and help us to scale our solution among the trial customers that we have for now. In July, we will have our final product ready and present it to our, one of the, our customers and uh, to be honest, many of the companies waiting for our solutions, so after that we will start rolling out on the market. <laughs>